Hello and welcome to this IP integration demonstration video. Today's video is Genesis Cloud Outbound Campaigns. Firstly, I will be looking at Preview. Preview dial-in is where the agent will receive the screen of all the customer information first and they can have a set amount of time before the call automatically starts ringing. To start, I'm going to go into my Outbound and my Campaign. I'm going to turn the campaign off because I cannot uh, edit anything without the campaign running. So I'm now going to go in, I'm going to change my dial-in mode to preview dial-in. I can see that I've got an enable preview timer and here is the amount of time that the agent will get to preview before the call is automatically dialed. I'm happy so I click save. I'm now going to turn that campaign back on and I'm going to recycle the calls so therefore the list is now going from the top again. Call comes straight in and as an agent it's, I'm going to answer that call which I've just done. And now you can see all the information on the screen from the customer. You can see at the top there's a, a timer going up and when that reaches 10 seconds the call will now be made. As you can see it's dialing. Once the call's then connected and the customer's connected I've finished my call with the customer and I just simply end the call. I give it a wrap up code and that's it. Moving on to progressive dialing. Progressive dialing is a one-to-one -one relationship which basically means that every call that's being made has to have an idle agent waiting for the call. So here all I'm going to do is go back into my admin as per usual. I'm just going to click on the campaign so I start typing in campaign and I go to campaign management. With progressive dialing I need to use call analysis responses. So I go in here and I create one. Now this is where I can say what to do if, if this system detects that it's an answering machine or a live person. So for an answering machine I'm just going to go to outbound flow. For a live person I'm going to do a transfer. Looking at my outbound flow, you can see that all this is saying is, hello, this is IPI, we've contacted you today, however, nothing important. This will be left as the voice message for the customer on their answer, mode, uh, answer machine. So I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go to campaign. I'm going to turn it off again so I can amend it. I'm going to choose the dialing mode to now be progressive. And here I can see my call response. I ensure that the call response is the one that I've just created and once I'm happy I can go down and click save. I now turn back on my campaign so I make it live so I turn it on and I recycle the calls again so it's dialing from the top of the list. My customers received a voicemail because they didn't answer it and now what they're going to do is they're going to go and retrieve that voicemail so they, they use their mobile phone and you can now hear the messages being played to the customer. And this is the message that we would have got from our outbound flow. And once the customer's completed this and they've heard everything, they just simply hang up. And looking at my interaction report, I can see that I've got a wrap-up code that is automatically being applied via the flow. This is the answer phone auto message left. So I can keep stats on this information. Looking at power dialing now, power dialing is very similar as progressive, in fact it's exactly the same as progressive, however it doesn't have that one-to-one -one relationship. It can have a one-to-many relationship. If we select the power dialing, I tell it which queue it's going to be using. And what this does is power dialing uses um, algorithms of abandon rates and as you can see here we need to put the abandon rate in there. And it will make more calls or less calls depending on how close you are to the abandon rate threshold. Once the campaign's turned on, calls will be dialed using the algorithm. And now let's look at the predictive dialing. So in predictive dialing mode, a campaign calculates how long it takes an agent to become available. This is based on historical metrics, which can include performance and the contact list quality. Outbound dialing for predictive calculates a number of calls to dial so that each live contact can be matched immediately to an agent who has just concluded their previous call. And just like progressive and power dials, you can also set up outbound flows for the call analysis response so that automatically messages are left. I turn on the campaign and predictive will now start dialing as you would expect. And now let's look at agentless campaigns. For this demonstration, I have a flight that's been cancelled. I'm going to set up an outbound campaign so it will dial people. If it gets through to their voicemail, it will leave a message. However, if they answer, I'm going to transfer that call to a live agent. So to start, I'm going to turn on my campaign, which I've done. I'm going to recycle the calls, and you can see this is an agentless campaign. The call's now coming through to the customer. The customer's going to click answer. They say hello. hello. Ian speaking. And now the system will automatically hello. come back this is in. My IPI. 
Unfortunately, your this is the message coming canceled. from the flow. I am transferring you to an agent. However, at the end, end of the flow, it will transfer to an agent. As we can now see, the agent's receiving the call and they get the call. They can now deal with the customer as you would expect. And if this call had gone through to the customer's voicemail, the voicemail would have been left with a message saying, please contact Fly IPI urgently as your flight's been cancelled. And that's the end of this video. If you would like further information on the features or enhancements that you've seen in this video, or you would like a full demonstration of the Genesis Cloud platform, please do not hesitate to contact IP Integration.